Hello and welcome back. And today we're actually going to provide a little bit of an update for what the channel's doing at the moment. But before we do that, I think it uh, might be easier if I can suck some oxygen in better. So what I'll do, give me two seconds and I'll, I'll make some magic happen. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I can actually breathe now. So um, as you might have, and what I've basically said before, a little bit in the Discord and a little bit on social media platforms as well, as well as the YouTube community, is that you may have noticed the podcast has not been um, playing for the last three to four weeks, I suppose. So a little bit behind that, uh, Grumpy Granny and myself have been facing some uh, health issues of our own. I know Grumpy Granny uh, was quite ill a little bit a while ago. And as such, she hasn't really uh, materialized outside. I think she's focusing on her her business, which is my my fourth thought, my forethought per se. Like I still can't talk when I got my mask off. Um, so I suppose from my perspective, is I'm glad that she's focusing on things that she wants to do. And you know, hopefully she will come back to YouTube one day. I haven't heard from her. Uh, Rob, which is her co-host on the Thursday show, hasn't heard from her as well. But yeah, you know, we just want to pass the message across to Leanne. If she is watching, yeah, you know, we do miss you. <laughs> yeah, you know, please feel free to reach out to us. Let us know what's going on. If you need any help, you need any assistance, uh, by all means, yeah, you know, Rob and I and the other people in your Discord and other viewers, I suppose, are more than happy to help in that respect. So please let us know. We can help out from that perspective. Um, and, you know, let YouTube be the least of your worries. Um, you know, we'll, we miss you. You know, we want you back. And But, you know, please come back in your own time when you're feeling better and all those different things. As to myself, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a couple of health concerns going on, which has been partly the reason why I've been a bit absent on YouTube per se and a bit on the social medias as well. A um, little bit of background without going into it. I went to do a Facebook marketplace pickup a couple of weeks ago um, <laughs> from a very eccentric lady, actually. Like, <laughs> we'll go into the story a little bit later uh, in a different video, but went and picked up a tub of Lego, which I, you know, I quite enjoy tub of Lego. And um, as Grumpy Green would say, you know, you, you sell products, not projects. So I'm in the process of <laughs> not learning anything. Uh, but she she mentioned to me my, my fingers were clubbed, which I don't know if they are or don't know if they're not. But um, if you're not too sure about what clubbed fingers are, it's basically uh, where your fingernails turn into different ways and your fing and the end of your fingers turn into bulbs um, and all these different things. Yeah, if the Aussie nurse flippers watching this video, please <laughs> please provide some information on clubbed fingers. But long story short, um, those people that have clubbed fingers is normally, I suppose, originates from you know severe heart or lung disease. Primarily, the biggest case is lung cancer. So I'm in the process of being cleared for that at the moment. I've got a um, a doctor's appointment early next week just to start the, I suppose, the investigatory um, things to see if that's the, the, the root analysis of, from the reason you know, my fingers are a little bit different per se. Um, so hopefully not. Um, to say that I've had a little bit of anxiety in the last fortnight since she told me um, would be an understatement. I've literally been losing my mind <laughs> and... I uh, wouldn't wish it upon anyone. So, yeah, as a as a forty two year old with you know father of four, uh, quite young family, it's quite a concern from that perspective. And yeah, like I said, I've been <clears throat> ramping up on eBay, making sure I do all these different things just to have like that financial source coming through as well. But if you you know, I know a lot of people don't like me <laughs> or the character, and I apologise for that. Like it's entirely that it is a character. So basically, I'm not like that in real life. So at any stage, please reach out to me with any eBay questions. I have no problems with that. Like I said before. But what I would implore you to do is to actually get health checks. You know, before you go full time, if that's your inclination, find out a medical um, plan or private health insurance, or even get your private GP to give you a monthly, a yearly check, just to get on top of these things. Like I said, that um, being military and ex-military, I do have um, some, you know, some place holders in place that I can get medical sense, and you know, I can get medical coverage from that perspective. Um, so I'm quite lucky in the sense that if there's something that does come up in these tests, fingers crossed that they don't, um, I will have some sort of fail safe to take care of that. So like I'm saying is that I'm not after sympathy. I'm not after <laughs> anything in particular. Like by all means, if you if you want to give me sympathy, slide over to the new Octo Reacts channel. I, I'm doing a little bit of a side project at the moment, like reacting to videos that I quite enjoy. Like um, I'm very in love with american culture like you know halloween christmas and all those different things so reacting to those different things reacting to australian um yeah australian 
footage, I suppose, for lack of a better term, you know, to obviously to, to portray it across to the American audience and give a bit of a, an octopus's perspective from that um, and also delving into a little bit of ghost stories as well. So stuff that, you know, used to keep me up at night. <laughs> so it's a bit of a, a mixed match of everything over that way. So in the process, I think we've got about 35 subscribers at the moment. So like I said, if, you, if you're that way inclined, if you'd like a bit of reaction videos, it's a bit softer character, so it's not the disgruntled octopus per se. It's a bit of a, a toned down version of him. Um, so he's still looking for world, world domination aspirations, but he's trying to get his um, his tentacles around, you know, basically how people work and how the <laughs> all these different things come into play. Um, but like going back to what I was saying before, is that please get yourself checked. Um, you know, like what I found from a reselling perspective, it is quite. A mental game so you know obviously without having that weekly or monthly paycheck um you know it quite fluctuates quite regularly especially if you don't list as heavily as um some people tell you to do on ebay uh, on youtube as well um <clears throat> so get yourself checked out make sure you like you, you check yourself out mentally which i've got a lot of mental health links in my description field because i'm quite big in that respect um i've unfortunately lost some friends to suicide over the years through military service um so i'm quite big in that respect so by all means you know if you are struggling or you know someone struggling um in your immediate group or in the community um please either you know just copy and paste the the, the links that i've got in my my, my field and go from there and work out from that perspective. But <clears throat> mental health, physical health is quite big. Um, in the sense, that, you know, like I was saying, is that if you are running a sole business and you're the sole breadwinner for your family, you need to have fail safes behind that as well. So just don't romanticize about going full time. Uh, make sure that you have all your ducks in a row per se. Uh, be mindful that you have to pay tax. Be mindful that people on YouTube. You know, myself included, <laughs> probably don't tell you the full the full story or they admit some information just to obviously keep their business viable but they also get paid from youtube uh me personally i probably scrape in about 70 dollars Amer australian australian a month which is probably about 50 dollars american just under it so i'm not making big dollars <laughs> so uh that's not to say those people are making big dollars are you know steering you down the garden path but just be very mindful is there are alternative motives for some people so that they might be selling membership groups they might be selling you know access to themselves or they might be you know, telling you to buy one thing whilst they're procuring another item and all these different things. Um, so there's, like I said, there's a lot of phenomenal people in the YouTube community um, that, yeah, support me. And I support them, um, which I think is fantastic. A big thank you for all those who have been on the podcast before. You know, Blake, you know, it's been phenomenal. Leanne, can't thank you enough. Um, we, like I said before, we will be going down the path of probably putting the podcast on pause for the time being just to see where it goes. Um, yeah, big thank you to all our international friends like Chris, Shane, uh, Marianne, Mary Jo. Uh, if, I haven't, if I've forgotten you, <laughs> apologies in advance because this is a, a flyby video that I'm doing at the moment while it's on my mind um but please 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 make sure that you are financially stable and you are financially i suppose looked after in the sense that you've got like six to 12 months um living expenses built up before you even consider going full-time um i know like i said before is that if you don't like your job you know, look for another job like yeah even it pays a little bit less or you know upskill or something like that don't default to ebay um like i said numerous times i see a lot of people in the facebook groups they literally have no idea. I, I can't stress that enough. Is that, and that more often than not, the people giving them guidance don't have any idea as well. So, like I was saying, is that I'm not saying that I know all the answers or no single YouTuber knows all the answers, but by all means, do your own research. Research the, oh, sorry, the eBay um, postage policies. You know, work out how you're going to send items, all these different things. But like I said, realistically, you've got no one else to blame by yourself if things go south because you haven't done the appropriate research. Uh, like I said numerous times, I know I sound like a re broken record and I will get off in a second off my soapbox. Feel free to reach out to me. I have no problems. I like talking to anyone. Don't worry. <laughs> you won't talk to the octopus. Uh, you'll be talking to me. Uh, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions. But on the flip side, if, you know, if there's something you want to look at, um, or you want me to do in the near future, please let me know. Put it in the comment section below. But what it really comes down to, if you are looking at being self-employed or working full-time on eBay or any other facet of your life, look after your mental health, look after your physical health because you've only got one life um, and money's not everything. So without further ado, we'll catch you next time. Bye.